In this video, we are going to discuss block diagram reduction, one, one example related to block diagram reduction. So, this problem, in this problem, they given a bulk block diagram. So, by this block diagram, it will indicate a control system. So, now we need to reduce this block diagram and we need to find out the transfer function of the system. So, you can see reduce the block diagram and find the transfer function of the system below. So, this is the system given, control system given. So, we need to reduce the system and we need to find out the transfer function. For example, at that, at this instant, if you want to find out the transfer function, how we will find out the transfer function? We do not know C of S and we do not know R of S. If you are having any single block in between C of S and R of S, you can consider that as transfer function of your system. But you are having multiple blocks. When you are having multiple blocks in between your input and output, you cannot say that particular transfer function. So, here we need to make all these uh, blocks, all these different different blocks into a single block by using block diagram reduction method. Finally, that single block represents the transfer function of the system. Coming to the reduction, in the last class itself, we got some rules for block diagram reduction. So, here you can see how we can reduct by observing itself, we are having some parallel blocks, we are having some feedback path and we are having some series. Which, which part we need to reduce first? For example, if you want to reduce the series path, here this series element is in feedback with this feedback loop. So, we can't. If you want to reduce this parallel element, so here also in this parallel path, if this feedback is not there, then definitely you can write G1 plus G2 plus G3. But here you are having a disturbance due to this feedback path. So, because of this feedback path, you do not know the effect of this feedback on this gains. So, that is why you can't do this parallel block reduction also. You cannot do this first. You cannot do this parallel block reduction first. So, which we need to do? For example, if you want to do this feedback, so that is also not possible first. Why? Because so in this feedback path, this branch point is included. So, we are having disturbance from other points. For example, here if you are having feedback loop, if you can reduce that feedback loop, then that will be better, but you are having branch point here. Whenever you are having branch point here, if you feel that branch point is cycle to you, then you can move that branch point to here. So, we are having a rule to move any branch point to ahead of the block. When you are moving any branch point ahead of the block, then you need to multiply reverse gain of actual path. You need to add a block when block is not there. Already we are having block here, no need to add extra block. For this block gain, you need to multiply reverse gain of your actual path. So, you can see I am modifying my block diagram like this. So, here I am having a summing point like this. R and here I am having G1, here I am having G1 and here I am having G2, my G2 like this and here I am having another summing point like this and here from here to here I am having a feedback path, feedback path. So, you can see what I need to do is so, I am moving this branch point to here. This is the first step I am doing. I am just moving this branch point to here to simplify this feedback path. So, here I am moving this branch point to here. So, the gain will be modified as G3 by G1. If G3 is not there, if you are having empty line, then you need to add a block and you need to write 1 by G1. 
if you are already having block then for that block gain you need to multiply the inverse gain of this ahead block. So, here I move this point like this. So, you can see now to reduce this feedback path I am not having any problem. So, in the next step I am reducing this feedback path. So, for this feedback path I am writing like this and here if you observe these two are in parallel. So, and these two are in parallel. So, in the next step I want to do two things. One is I want to simplify, simplify my feedback path. I want to reduce my feedback path as well as I want to reduce this parallel gains. So, my resultant diagram will be like this. So, here I reduced this feedback path. So, you need to see which feedback that is. That is a negative feedback. So, G by 1 plus G H formula we need to take as we are having G 1. So, G 1 by 1 plus G 1 into H. This will be the feedback path gain after reducing. So, no need to take the summing point and these two uh, open loop gain and feedback path gain. So, in place of these three we can replace this block. So, I reduce the feedback path and now my turn is to reduce these two elements. These two elements are in parallel. How we can reduce the parallel elements? By just adding the gains we can reduce the parallel elements. So, what are the gains means? G3 by G1 is 1 gain plus G2. So, this is equivalent to G3 by G1 plus G2. So, now my block diagram is reduced to like this. Now also I am not having single block. Now also I am having two blocks. So, here you can see these two blocks are in series. So, if these two blocks are in series, you can multiply the gains to make this as single block. So, that means G1 by 1 plus G1 into H into G3 by G1 plus G2. So, now the transfer function C of S by R of S is nothing but this gain. So, G1 by 1 plus G1 into H. So, multiplied with so, I am cross multiplying these two G3, G2, G1 divided by G1. So, I am cancelling these two. I am going to get my transfer function C of S by R of S is equal into G1, G2 plus G3 divided by 1 plus G1H. This is the transfer function of the given block diagram. This is the transfer function. C of S by R of S. What we need to do when they are asking transfer function means we need to reduce the bulky block diagram into single block. So, in between input and output that block gain will represent the total gain or transfer function of the system. So, here I felt this branching point is some abstractly to me. So, that is why I moved to here after moving that branch point to ahead of that G1 I got an idea to reduce the feedback loop and to reduce the parallel elements. After reducing feedback path and parallel elements, I got two gains in series. So, by multiplying that two series gains, I got a single gain. So, that single gain will be the total gain of the system or transfer function of the system.